So this is my 33 long planet tank. I guess I'll start off with a little background. I've had this tank since February. <clears throat> and shortly after the pandemic started in the United States, I set it up with the intent to fill it with fish and stuff later on. But as everything got worse, uh, it just got kind of put on the back burner. So it wasn't until about recently I actually started getting some fish and some plants in it. It's just been sitting here full of water pretty much before that so it's kind of exciting that I finally got some fish in it and plants <clears throat> before this I used to have a 40 breeder tank which was a decent tank but I'm more prone to like longer tanks I think they're more enjoyable to watch fish in but that's just me a lot of people would prefer a 40 breeder tank over say for example a 55 gallon or 40 long or something like that I got two AquaClear 50 filters. Currently only one of them is actually actually working. Um, this one on the right here, I don't know what the deal is, but I accidentally knocked the power out a couple weeks ago. And it hasn't come on since. It, it'll come on, but it won't do anything. It makes like a mechanical noise, and I can't get it to start, so I'm still trying to figure that out. Everything I've tried that people have told me didn't work. So, not sure what to do there. <clears throat> I'm using plain um, Caribsea Sunset Gold Sand. I've used that in the past and I liked it quite a bit. My light is a Phoenix Stingray. And in this tank so far I have nine guppies and I just added 12 white, golden white cloud minnows yesterday and two Omano shrimp. So far the guppies have been really enjoyable. I've never done guppies before and I just got them on a whim and they've done great. I got 10 of them but one of them died so far the rest have done okay. I like the colors on the golden white claws. I've done white claws before. They are one of the first fish I actually really liked years ago when I got started in this hobby. And I just saw them at the store recently. I was like, I, gotta, I should try those again. So I picked up 12 from Petco yesterday. I don't know if those all survive or not, but so far they've been doing good. Not the tightest schooling fish, but they do look nice. I originally had intended to do the tank with a big school of neon tetras as I've always done neon tetras but when I saw the guppies at the store I was like uh yeah I'll try something different you know I've done neon tetras pretty much in all my tanks I'm not really sure how much more fish I could actually add in here considering this is a 33 long and I already have 21 fish so if I had a normal 55 gallon, which as you know is the same dimensions as 33, it's just taller. I could probably add more fish if I wanted, but I'm not sure yet, especially because I don't have the, fil the second filter going. So we'll see. I'll see how it goes. I did see an Amano shrimp here just now. Hmm. He wandered off. Well, there he is. I added two yesterday. I, I see I have seen them both since then. I haven't seen the other one today so far. He's probably in there hiding somewhere. <clears throat> you see some hear some weird noises in the background. My my kids watching TV. So I'm not the best at aquascaping. Um, I've always tried in the past. I haven't had much success, but <clears throat> I found having the right size tank as well tends to help in the in the past I've always done taller tanks like 55's I used to also have a 58 tall which is the tank setup I kinda had before this sort of I had a 58 tall before this 
um, which is the same as a 40 breeder, only it's 21 inches tall. And then I downgraded to a 40 breeder since it's the same dimension, so I had the same stand. But it, overall, it's basically the same. But I actually like this tank a lot more. It's been more enjoyable for me. <clears throat> this heater is a little bit obscenely in here. This is from the previous tanks, and since the tank is so short, I'm not sure what to do with it, so I just stuck it there for now. I might have to get a shorter one. The heater is really tall, so... And also, this brand tank is <coughs> called Sephora or Sephora. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I've heard it pronounced both ways, so kind of hard to come by. In the past, I've always done Aquion or Marineland tanks. But there's a local fish store. Hi, Buggy. Hi. There's a local fish store by me that carries Sephora brand. Well, and the kid's starting to get into the video, so that's all.